exploring the Freedom Trail. I'm Megan Morgan. And I'm Corey McIsaac. Come and join us as we will be taking the same steps that famous patriots such as Paul Revere and Sam Adams took when our country was just being born. Although the Freedom Trail itself is simply a series of red brick, red paint, and red granite stone, we will bring you deeper into these places and really show you their importance in our history. We will be visiting the King's Chapel, the King's Chapel Burial Ground, the Benjamin Franklin statue, the First Public School, the Old Corner Bookstore, and the Old South Meeting House. Built in 1688 by the British Royal Government, King's Chapel was built on what was formerly the town's burial ground. However, when the church's congregation became too large, architect Peter Harrison was asked to design a new one. By the outbreak of the American Revolution, the church became the headquarters of the colonial Anglican Church. Thirty years later, in 1785, King's Chapel became the first Unitarian Church in the United States. The church still holds services to this day. Located right next to King's Chapel, the King's Chapel Burial Ground was the first of its kind in the city of Boston. Buried here are many influential people in the city's history, such as John Winthrop, the first governor of Massachusetts, William Dawes, who rode with Paul Revere to Lexington, and Mary Chilton, who was the first woman to step off the Mayflower. As we continue our tour along the Freedom Trail, we reach School Street, where there are three stops on our tour. The Benjamin Franklin statue, the first public school, and the old corner bookstore. First stop, the Ben Franklin statue. Located next to the former City Hall, the Ben Franklin statue was the first statue to be erected in the United States. Designed by Richard Greenaw, the bronze base of the statue chronicles Franklin's career. It represents his work as a printer, scientist, signer of the Declaration of Independence, and a writer of the Peace Treaty with France. Hey Megan, do you know where we're standing? No, where? The cornerstone of the Boston Latin School, the first public school. Wait a second, don't you go there? Yeah, I do. Do you know that it has existed since 1635, and it's still open today, but in a different location? Wars begun and schools done, the headmaster proclaimed in April of 1775, as the Latin school closed its doors to allow students to take up arms and defend their city. Some notable alums of the school include Samuel Adams, John Hancock, and Ralph Waldo Emerson. Benjamin Franklin also attended the Boston Latin School, but dropped out before graduating. It wasn't until 1967 that the school finally admitted women as well. Although Boston Latin School was originally located on School Street, it has been relocated to the Fenway area, where it has been since the early 20th century. on School Street, the old corner bookstore, which is directly behind me. Thomas Creese, an apothecary, built this building in 1718. From 1835 to 1865, the Tickner and Fields Publishing House inhabited this building, and in the 19th century, it became a hub of literacy and thinking. Authors such as Emerson, Hawthorne, Dickens, and Thoreau would gather here to discuss their work. Keep following the Freedom Trail and it will bring you to the Old South Meeting House. Built in 1729 as a congregational church, this building was the largest meeting space throughout Boston. Once Banyan Hall became too small to hold meetings, the Old South Meeting House took its place. 
Did you know that on December 16th, 1773, one of the most important meetings happened at the Old South Meeting House? The planning of the Boston Tea Party. 5,000 angry colonists came to protest the British tea tax here, and it was at this meeting that a new beginning was brought on to the American Revolution. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed our tour. We also hope that you decide to make your own journey along the Freedom Trail. See you next time on Exploring the Freedom Trail. For Boston City TV, I'm Megan Morgan. And I'm Corey McIsaac. See you around. For more information on planning your own trip on the Freedom Trail, visit www.cityofboston.gov slash freedomtrail. Mm -hmm.